They took our jobs. They took our jobs. They took our jobs. That's all I was reminded of when Jeff Bridges was in this film. Hello, today I'm reviewing R.I.P.D. Really is proper dog shit. No, that's not the right name. What? That's, that's, that's not the name. It's Rest in Peace Department. Rest, rest yeah. in Peace Department? What? Yeah, that's All right. the right Okay. Hello, today I'm reviewing R.I.P.D. Rest in Peace Department based on R.I.P.D., the graphic novel of the same name. This was released in... 1999-2000, the, the comic was released in that year and they've only just got around to making the film now, 13 years later they were like, yep, let's make a film of that now because that will be so good to make. We can make so much money from that. They've also recently released R.I.P.D. City of the Damned which is a prequel, a graphic novel prequel to this film. So this film stars Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges was fucking annoying in this film. I normally like Jeff Bridges, but this, you're just talking like this all the fucking time, and you know what I'm doing, I'm a cowboy, and everybody black me, bitch, bum, bum. That's how he was. Um, sorry, that was a horrible impression. Yes, that is how Jeff Bridges was this whole film. So the storyline of R.I.P.D. is Ryan Reynolds is a cop, and he then gets shot when he goes to this crime, and he gets shot and he dies, and now he's in the R.I.P.D., the Rest in Peace Department, Jeff Bridges is going to be his partner, and now they're going to go out and they're going to find people that are in the real world, they're actually dead, and they're like criminals and stuff, and they're dead, so they need to arrest them because they're dead and they're not meant to be in the real world, so yeah, that's what they've got to do, and they completely change the storyline from the graphic novel. Yeah, I just, I, I've, read, I've read that before I saw the film, and there's things that really, really annoy about the film, there's really stupid things. The way that they find out how people are monsters is with coming. Not, not... No, we're more mature than that, aren't we? With coming powder, they the, the, they like pour it at the demon or something, or the demon can sniff it up the nose, and then they'll be like a human, and then all of a sudden they'll turn into the monster, or they talk to them about like Indian food or something, and with spices in, so then it will turn them into this monster, and Evan Bacon's in this as well as the, the villain, and it's just... This film was absolutely horrible. I saw this at Fright Fest, saw it in 3D. This was, uh, there was two films that were showed in 3D at Fright Fest, and this was the first one that we saw in 3D. My point is 3D, like, it was just shit 3D. I, I took on my glass at one point, and the only things that were 3D were stuff in the background. It was just converted 3D. And if you're going to see this film, you don't need to see it in 3D, but I don't recommend seeing this film. This was horrible. The comedy was just complete bullshit. It was not funny. With this screening, with Five for Salad, you can have like people still buy tickets for the film. So there was a lot of fa some families in there. This is a 12A. I was annoyed about it sort of being a 12A because the graphic novel isn't like the comic isn't as not completely violent. But I'd say there is some graphic moments. Like there's one moment where a woman just gets that part of just that whole part of her body just shot out completely hollow and everything she just completely shot out there's a guy that gets his skin ripped off and stuff and monsters do like there's blood and stuff and like monsters getting squished and things and all those type of things in this this is just horrible cgi in my opinion this is a big men in black ripoff with some of the things in it like they walk first into where the rest in peace department is when they walk in it's all set up like futuristic and stuff in the graphic novel it's not futuristic it's just like a normal police department they tried to add a woman in this as well but completely forgot her name Mary louise parker does play like the the head of our ipd but that doesn't make sense because in the graphic novel it was a man like some just big fat sort of man that just played the boss of our ipd um, and this is stupid because in the, they changed a massive thing from the graphic novel as well. I, I actually stopped comparing it to that because they ch they had to change things to make this film work and make it have sense to it. But it was just a stupid, one of the most unfunny things I've seen in the film in ages. So in the real world, Brian Reynolds isn't seen as himself. Jeff Bridges isn't seen as, as themselves. They're not seen as so, like, people that knew them. If they see them in the, in the real world, they'd be like, they won't recognise them or anything. So Brian Reynolds is an Asian guy. And Jeff Bridges is a, a hot smoking babe. Ha <laughs> so funny, comedic genius. And like when you see like Roman Reynolds' character, when he's the Asian guy, when he's like, you see Roman Reynolds holding the gun and all of a sudden they go to the Asian guy, he's holding the banana. <laughs> As you can tell, I hated R.I.P.D. R.I.P.D. It was just a horrible film to watch, just flowed horribly. 
the CGI, just CGI everywhere. There was just like, when you look at Men in Black, they were great. They had some, I liked Men in Black because in all three films, they still stuck with, there's some CGI at moments, but they still stuck with having like this practical aliens and stuff, really good prosthetics and things for the aliens. And the guy was an excellent creator on this. It's just in this is some absolutely horrible CGI and some absolutely horrible voice acting for some of the actors. Like, some guy talks like this, I'm a pretty boy. I'm just doing really bad impressions in this today and being annoying. The film's annoying, RIPD, four out of 10 from me. One of the shittest films I've seen this year, there's probably no more films of the year. Yeah, just don't see RIPD, rest in peace department, or like I like to say, it really is proper dog shit. Yeah, that's the best thing I can make up for it because it is, really is proper dog shit. I don't see it. If you see it, then when it says see in 3D on all the adverts, you know you see in 3D because the 3D is just shit. And it's a shit comedy, it's not funny, it's the most unfunny comedy I've seen in a long time. And Ryan Reynolds, not the most amazing guy, and Jeff Bridges, not, like, I love Jeff Bridges, and they can do so much better than this, and I just hate looking at Kevin Bacon now after seeing him in all those EE adverts, because they're the most annoying adverts. Yeah, I used to like Kevin Bacon, but after all those EE adverts, it's annoying now. So, if you have seen R.I.P.D., Say down there if you enjoyed it, if you are, are going to be seeing it, are you looking forward to seeing it? But if you're looking forward to seeing it, I'm just saying you're in for a big disappointment because it's shit. Thank you very much, and I shall see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.